Hello, Christmas Height community. Today, I'm Jason Guyman, and in this video, um, I had a question asked by somebody in our community, Christmas Light community, was asking how we are able to measure houses from Google View, Google Street View. And today, I'm gonna go over a, a few things of how we're able to bid our homes from never leaving our couch and how we can do it with sitting in our office and how we can bid and know about how many Christmas lights we need to put up on a house. With that being said, please go down and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 500 by Christmas is my goal. I'm at 200 right now, so Please go down and subscribe, and I will get teaching you how to measure homes without leaving your office. Now, there is some people that go out and measure homes and, and get the one-on-one -on -one, um, relationship with the customer. That's fine. I'm not saying that's bad. Um, we just know that our close rate is not much higher versus doing it online. So, is it good to go out? Sure, but we have a large service area. We have about from, we go from south side of Dayton, or actually middle of Dayton, Ohio. Um, our shop's in Cincinnati, and we go down into Northern Kentucky uh, about 20 miles down in northern Kentucky. So we have probably an 80 mile range of 75 that we um, go to. So to try to go to every customer to get a bid and set it up and, and set up the online stuff, it, it's just hard to do. It's just really hard to do. So what we do is we bid everything online. So what I'm going to use this, my house here, of how we are going to bid this house. So when we have a wreath, we automatically just put a wreath on every house. Um, we try to do 60 inch. Um, most houses can hold a 60 inch. This one here is only a 48. We could have probably done a 60. It just been pushed up a little bit higher. Um, but if you want to see how that wreath is um, hung up there, it's actually not, don't have no screws in it, no nothing like that. Please go check this video out or the video at the end. So what we do is we go off of known factors. We know that a single car, um, single car um, shoot, garage door, I had to get a brain fart there, a single car garage door is about eight feet wide and a double is 16 feet wide. That's just the standard size of garage doors. Eight for single, 16 for double. Now, if there's a, they got some big extraordinary thing, then we can't help it. But nine times out of 10, those are your garage door sizes. We also know that is a known factor that building construction, they build on four or eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 20 feet. That's what they sell lumber at, and that's how they build houses. And you know, we know some other known factors. The garage door is obviously this one here is 16 feet. If that's the case, you figure two feet for each side. So we know that the front of that garage is 20 feet. So, with our roof, we know it's got to be more than 20 feet. So, it's built on 12, 14, 16, and 20 foot. So, with that being said, we know that that's probably about a 14 foot span between, let me see if I can point it to you, from right here up to the reef right there. So, that's about 20 feet, right? Or, that's about 12 feet. 14 feet is actually what it is. So we got 14 and 14. So that is 28 feet right there. So we also know that doors, um, doors 
front doors are usually 36 inches. That's just the size of a door. They got to be big enough to get a wheelchair in. Um, most exterior doors, you can get um, your refrigerator, your couch, all that kind of stuff in if it was smaller than that. So that's what they build. Our front doors is 36 inches. We also know that our windows are usually 36 inches. So these are known factors that we know for sure without going to that house. We automatically know that. So with that being said, you can do a couple things. So if we know that that garage door is 20 foot, we could take a ruler and say two inches, whatever it is on the computer screen is 20 feet. We can go 20, you know, four. or the three feet door. We know the, three, the door is three foot. So with that, we know those are known factors. So this is how we're able to bid and to get our quote out within four or five hours of once that customer calls us. So we so we know that it is over the garage is 14 and 14 is 28 feet. Then we come to the windows. Now those two windows look a little smaller than this one so those are probably 24 inches but the bigger one is actually bigger so i'm going to say that's probably six feet of the window and the way we can tell right now is the lights are on the lights are on the house so i'm going to show you how close i am so over the garage if we count the bulbs from up the thing it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen dead right on it let's see about the window one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's actually nine feet i was a little off on that so the side windows are two so that's four feet and the middle window is five i was off on that one so don't always go i mean you're, you're going to bid it at what you know so we know the window is now nine feet which i was off on that one a little bit sorry but that's where, you know, you can add a few feet or once you get good at this and you do a bunch of them, you, 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 you realize um, how many you need. And so how you can tell how much you're measuring when you first start out, when you go to your own home, guesstimate how many feet you think it is and then go put them up and then you'll know you'll be able to go back and count and see how big it is and you'll know how much how many feet there is and that's how you can get better at it and if you if you're way off then do another house and see how far you are and our first three or four years we actually had our guys or me we would count each individual bulb that did two things by counting each individual bulb it let us know if we were close um, to our county and it also made sure all the bulbs were working because we'd plug them in and do it and when you're counting bulbs you're making sure that they're working and so that is the purpose of counting your bulbs to, at the end of the job is to double check you for the uh, that for to, to double check your pricing cost and your um, make sure they're all working. So, those are the known factors. There's some other known factors that we know. You know, when the, the, the front door's got the big double peak, you know, we know if one side is eight feet, the other side's probably eight feet, same way with the door. Uh, so, that is how we are able to quote without going to the job. Now, the other way you can do it, if you want to go to the job, you can get you a little roller wheel. I'll put a link down in the description to one. And you start at the corner of the house and you start rolling across. When you get to the peaks, you kind to try to figure out how much of a peak it is and you come out and then back in. So you would come, you would come out here and then you would go back in. And that's basically how you can measure the peak of the roof with 
out, um, going up on the roof and that kind of stuff. If you would like to learn how to quote light, please go check out this video also. So we got the reef video and how to check out um, how to bid houses and how, how, how much to quote for houses. Thank you and have an awesome day.